Good morning. Good something. What's earlier than morning? We're about to do something really big. We thought the camper was big. Now we're doing something really big. Really big. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Campers. After losing a combined weight of more than 200 pounds, we realized we had so much more energy for activities. Come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. And join us on a brand new adventure. An adventure is right. It is 4.15 in the morning. We're really pushing that brand new like energy for activities. <laughs> so as you guys know, recently we bought a pop-up camper. And we've enjoyed that pop-up camper. Yes. But we live in Florida. It's moist. It rains a lot. A lot. <laughs> and the problem is, is every time we go camping, we have to hope it doesn't rain the night before. And even if it doesn't rain, you have like the morning dew. We do. We do have to. <laughs> um, the other thing is we like to get up and go because we are truly weekend warriors or whatever's after Sunday. We're yeah. like Sunday, Sunday after, to Tuesday. Yeah, Sunday to Tuesday warriors. Mid mid midweek warriors? Pre-week warriors. Early week warriors? We're we're sort of fighters. Okay. Something like that. So we don't want to spend half of our trip, you know, setting up and the other half tearing down. Yeah. So we have been talking about getting a travel trailer. And we started off with like a little 16 foot Jayco. Then we're like, yeah, no, not enough room because we have YouTube channels and we need room to work. And room to travel if we can. Right, because we, we eventually want to be able to like travel across the country, like mostly across the South, like to Texas, to Utah, those kind of areas. So then we went up to like a 19 foot, we were looking at, what was it? The Wolf Pup 18 TO. It all started with a potty and then began spiraling from there. Yeah. Then we decided we're, oh no, we want a Jayco, like a 25 foot one. Right. Well now, with all of that, Anthony, our middle son, and I are heading up to Jacksonville today. A four and a half hour drive. One way. One way. To take a look at a Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB, which is rear bathroom and really big. It's, it's 30 also, feet long. It's also RB because for us, this is really big. This is a really big purchase. So we're not coming home with it today, but we do have to drive up and take a look at it. And we're actually dealing with Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. I am so excited about that because just watching his videos are so fun. And so far, just talking to him yesterday on the phone, he's awesome. I mean, he spent like an hour on the phone. He's like, We've got this, we've got that. And then he was like, hey, up in the Jacksonville store, I've got this, but you're gonna have to get up there because we don't allow people to put deposits on units unless they actually see them, which I think is awesome. Well, just in the short time that we have been looking for a travel trailer, we learned very fast that you're almost buying the dealership and your salesperson as much as you're buying this trailer. Yeah, we actually have walked away from two dealerships so far. We walked away from Camping World, which now so we've learned things, we so glad we did. And then we just, we also walked away from another dealership and that was more of, I got an uneasy feeling. They didn't do anything wrong, but I got an uneasy feeling. Man, we're listening to our guts. Right, and it was also for a trailer that was like on order and I started thinking like, wow, the way the industry is working right now, like- When are you getting that? They are saying it's gonna be here in November, but what if it doesn't come until February and then you're locked in with financing or you know a large deposit? So we've made the decision, we want to get something that's in stock somewhere, whether it's now or we wait till something shows up that we want. But this may be the perfect unit, but we have to go look at it. So it's 7.45 in the morning. We just entered into Volusia County. So we're about an hour and a half away from General RV in Jacksonville. Anthony's over here still sleeping next to me. Uh, he's been sleeping the entire drive, so he hasn't been much of a co-pilot for the ride up. 
but that's okay because I really wanted him as the second set of eyes because he's super handy like me and you know I wanted him to be there to be able to see things that I may not be able to see because you know I may be blinded by oh this is so awesome and he's gonna go in there as the practical person and be like hey dad look at this like broken shelf over here or look at this scratch over here where I may not see it because I'm like ooing and aahing over it and Rachel didn't want to come because it can be a stressful thing. So I definitely wanted the second set of eyes because it's such a large purchase for us. I also wanted him for the drive home since we are doing nine hours of driving in one day and I didn't want to do that drive by myself. Uh, but it's funny, we just stopped to go to the restroom or at least I did because he's still sleeping. And I got out of the car and I realized, wow, this was a mistake because I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I know a lot of you guys are going to laugh because you're probably like up north or like, you know, over in Colorado or something like that. But in South Florida, we don't get a lot of like cold days. You know, like during the winter, we'll get a few here or there, like maybe, you know, a day here where it's 55, 60 degrees and then you'll go back up into the 70s or 80s and you get maybe five to 10 of those during the whole winter. Well, it's September 30th and just stopping to go to the bathroom, it's 60 degrees out there. Like 60 degrees is a freezing day in South Florida in January. I'm definitely not used to that in September and I certainly wasn't prepared for 60 degrees. So Joe and Anthony are on their way to Jacksonville and I am on my way to a meeting. It scares me a little bit that I can't be there to see the trailer, get that first look. But honestly, Anthony is the voice of reasoning in this family so if there's something wrong with it i know that i can trust anthony to take the emotion out of it and help joe come back down to earth because he doesn't really have a horse in the race so he can really just be totally honest and say yeah i think this would fit your needs great or you know you've seen his reviews he'll tell you the truth the destination is on your left general rv center arrived here it is should be ours sometime next week. We just have to wait so that I can find another day to come back up here to pick it up. So they wanted me to pick it up like right away, but I just can't. So take a look inside real quick because we've got to get Anthony back home. We come inside. Got a nice big shower. Shower door. Storage over here storage storage porcelain toilet sliding door see here I'm trying to do this with one hand but nice heavy sliding door this is all a big slide couches have uh, massage heat and lights in it got this area here Full queen size bed, lots of storage, storage down there, storage underneath the bed, another door, place to hook up the television, more storage, sink, this pops up, oven, refrigerator, gas and electric television AC hey honey uh, you know how we're supposed to be going to pick up the trailer what's wrong what's wrong I just woke up and I see video in my face well we're all about being real so this is too real okay you know how I'm supposed to go pick up the new trailer tomorrow yeah um, change of plans I don't want to go get it tomorrow I want to go get it today Today? Today. Right now? I know. Well, you said you can't come tomorrow because you have to work. So I want to go get it today. But it's already 8 o'clock. And I told the guy that, like, I can be up there by, like, 3 if I leave at, by 9.30. So you're going right now? I'm going to go right now. But Anthony won't come with me, so I'm going by myself. What? Are you asking me to go with you? Um, I kind of don't want to tow the trailer like that far by myself. What's wrong? I don't want to drive to Jacksonville today. But you haven't even seen this trailer when we're buying it. 
Are you gonna come with me? Maybe. So this just happened. Yeah, a rock got kicked up on our windshield and cracked it nicely. So fortunately, we have Geico and we have the little mobile app. So within five minutes of this crack happening, Rachel's able to go on the phone, schedule an appointment, and Safe Light Auto Glass will repair it for free tomorrow at noon right at our house. So in typical Joe fashion, he wakes me up this morning and says, I know that we said we were gonna go get the trailer tomorrow, but I sort of need to get the trailer today. So are you up for an all day, all night drive? Five hours. I think the worst part about it was not that we had a five hour drive, was that I told her we have to be there by three o'clock to do the paper and the walkthrough and all of that stuff. And so you have five minutes to get up, take a shower, get dressed and be in the car and out the door. He is so crazy, but all I could think of was he is going to be driving at night with this giant trailer that is twice the size of our landscaping trailer. And yeah, he's gonna be doing it at night. And all I could think of was, this is a wife call. Like you have got to be a good wife and get your butt in the car because you cannot let him do this by himself. Like, that is a terrible wife if I let him do this by myself. You're an himself. awesome wife. Well, thank you. Obviously, because I got my butt in the shower, and within five minutes, I was at least ready to put a hat on. There was no time to do your hair, no time to shave your legs. I'm wearing jeans because, yeah, we got to go. Get in, the, get in the car, baby. Unfortunately, we've already had many delays. Yes. So we were on the turnpike. Not we me. completely shut down the turnpike. So they had to get off, go over another way, reroute all around. So that added like 30 minutes on. And now we're driving up I-95. We're about 125 miles away. And we hit another accident where it looks like palm trees fell off of a truck across somebody's uh, F-150. Wow. So we were at a complete standstill for an hour. So now we were supposed to be there at 3 o'clock. And we were originally on schedule to be there at like 2.45. Now it's 4.30. Yeah, but you know what? When you see an accident of that magnitude, it really puts everything in perspective of what is important and that we need to just slow down. That's and if right. we're late and if we have to spend the night someplace, we will do that because life is short and we do not need to do crazy things to make it even shorter. What is this look you're going for? Huh? What is this look you're going for? It's going for like, I think that we're going to be cold, but I'm not sure. So it's like light, but also long sleeve. I was kind of talking about the mask. You look like, I don't know, you're going to rob the bathroom. I might. Maybe there's something awesome in there. Are you excited? I'm super excited. We may actually be at the last red light before we get to pick her up. Yep. So we just stopped at Wawa because I really don't want to have to go through a regular gas station towing a 30 foot rig. So we stopped, we filled up. Now we can go through our whole walkthrough, pick her up and head home. There we go. There it is. Look at this. Look Whoa. at all these RVs. General RV. At the light, turn right. Then the destination is on your left. my turn. Oh no, that's the parts department. It's okay to miss your turn while we're still just in the truck. There we go. I don't think we want to miss turns when we're towing a giant trailer. No, the I destination don't think so. is on your left. General RV Center arrived. We're here. Well, what do you think? Well, ready or not, it's ours. <laughs> What an ordeal picking up the camper. I mean, we got up there late because like nothing but traffic and accidents and everything else. So we didn't show up until like at what, almost five o'clock, right? I thought we were never gonna get there. <laughs> I felt like Jacksonville went like another town over. It just felt like there were a lot of obstacles to just getting there. Yeah, but the folks at General were really awesome because we kept calling them saying like, hey, we're another half hour behind. We're another hour behind. And they're like, no problem. They did not rush us through the process of walking through the camper. 
they did handle all of the little tiny issues except for one and i think they just forgot the one that was to staple back up a little board something easy that i could fix but they were really accommodating with the fact that we were getting there so late they were staying well past their going home time. Yeah. I mean, some of them had like their, their purse, their handbag on them, the car keys in their hand. They were supposed to be able to go home. And right. They just stayed to answer everything and like let us leave the parking lot feeling good and confident that we were going to make it home safely. Yeah. The only issue that we did have was we were supposed to be getting a certain type of, you know, anti sway bar weight distribution hitch. We wanted the equalizer one. And it turned out they were sold out of those. They didn't have any more. And I really didn't want to drive home because it is almost like 300 miles without a weight distribution hitch. So they put on a different one, a Reese one, which is very comparable, but it's like half the price of the equalizer. So they took 300 bucks off the deal. So I felt good about that. Yeah, we felt like we weren't taking advantage of. It yeah. was really, really nice. But we got everything hooked up. They went over everything. It was really detailed. I didn't feel that like when we left, that I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to extend the awning. I don't know how to flush out the black tank. They really walked us through everything. And I felt like if we have more questions, we can still call them. Yeah. It wasn't a situation like, bye, never talk to me again. You know, I know that if we have a question about something, we can still call them. Yeah. And Rachel did not come into the final, what I call the little glass interrogation booth. Right. No. You know, like, you know, you go in there for a car and stuff, and this is where they're going to push all the extras. She didn't come in with me because she's afraid of that little glass booth because they're like, make you cry, right? I've had so many bad, like, situations with that where I just feel really uncomfortable and awkward. Now, Joe said it wasn't like that. But, no. But, I mean, I've just had too many bad uh, times of, like, buying a car, even buying a home, and, and you just feel like that financial talk is just it it's just stressful yeah they were really awesome and i want to say the finance business managers that we dealt with were really awesome because we actually had to have several of them because the guy that we were dealing with was going on vacation and then he went on vacation and passed it off to somebody else and then that person who was handling the deal wasn't supposed to be in until saturday but we called him and said we want to come in on friday to pick it up so he handed it off to somebody else and they were all really awesome, you know, getting through the whole process, especially for us where we're in a unique situation. We work for ourselves. So sometimes, you know, there's little extra details and they were perfect with it. But when I sat down with them, there was no push for extended warranties. He said to me, hey, did, you know, like Scott show you everything? I'm like, yep, he showed me everything. And I'm not interested. I'm going to self-insure, you know, the actual rig itself. The only thing that I did want was the tire protection plan and i did look around there are a lot of cheaper ones out there but i just felt good about this one it has a really good reputation and i know that several of like even like the youtube full timers mm -hmm. are using the same plan and it was like 750 dollars for i believe it's five years but it covers everything it covers like if you get a nail if you have a blowout or anything like that and it covers my truck when I'm connected to the trailer. What I loved was you brought home all of the brochures talking about all of the different and warranties that you could be able you know, to purchase from them. A lot of times when you're buying a car or a boat or a trailer, they want to push you right then to make a decision no. about what you you know what you need to cover and what you want to insure. So it was really nice for for them to say, take it home and think about it. Yeah, and the thing was is when I sat down and put down the deposit, yeah, he gave me all of the brochures and he said, okay, here's what I want to show you. This is the price of each plan. It was like a warranty plan, a roadside assistance plan, which I did get that too. It's like triple A. But it was really cheap. It was like $150 a year, but it doesn't just cover the RV. It also covers my truck, and it covers everybody else that's living in the house. So yeah, teenage boys. Rachel has this roadside on her car now, and Anthony has it on his car, and Caleb has it in his car, and they're all registered. So I felt like $150 a year for that. Super it's very it. comparable to AAA, but at least I know the trailer is covered. But he went through everything, like the paint protection. We didn't get any of that kind of stuff. And he actually told us the price of each plan, as opposed to when we were at uh, Gander, 
and Camping World, they were just like, this plan is going to increase your payment by this much. Would not tell me what how much the plan was. actually was. So I really liked the fact that he did that and he gave us the brochures and I was able to go home and investigate and say like, is this worth it? Is it not worth it? That really was a huge game changer for us. So after the whole deal went through, it was about 8 o'clock when we were finally done and ready to get on the road. Yeah, I was ready to start heading home at that point. But I was afraid because it was going to be nighttime. Yeah, the sun was coming down. And, I mean, as a matter of fact, the picture that we took, you know, like, as we were getting ready to leave, you can see the sun is, like, setting and everything. But there were two people outside waiting for us, making sure we were hooked up. Then we didn't have any questions, helped us make sure that our Fury and camera was working. And then we hit the road. With no street lights, I don't think, for the first two counties. <laughs> for some reason, we plugged everything into the GPS because I knew how to get home, like get to I-95. But when I put everything into the GPS, because again, now we're 11 and a half feet tall and I want to make sure we're not hitting an under bridge and I don't know the Jacksonville area. Power lines. It took us down these little side roads for over 30 miles. It didn't take us across the interstate to get to I-95 for some reason. So now we're going down all these little side roads through Jacksonville and St. Augustine and all that. And at one point, we're going across, like, a one-lane bridge for, like, three miles. It was so scary. Pitch black, no street lamps. And I'm like, I don't know where I am. And I'm towing a 6,000-pound trailer that's 30 feet long, and I've never towed this trailer before. It was such a great marriage test because you're tired. We were pretty much living off of adrenaline at that point. <laughs> And the fact that we weren't mean to each other I, and, and we're encouraging of one another driving in this climate, I think was a marriage win. We finally get to I-95 and we're like, okay, I know where to go. There's nothing to worry about. It's I-95, tractor trailers, everything like that. We're driving down. It starts to rain really rain pouring rain and i think that we were on the road with every semi possible and we were not used to the blow by of a semi against a trailer i mean i felt like it was easy to tow it like it right. i didn't feel the truck has no issues towing it no but it's still well what happened was i I've always been a person who, like, when we would drive to New York and stuff, I was always telling Rachel, I want to drive in the middle of the night. Because in the middle of the night, there's less traffic, a lot of cars are on the road, and the only people you have to deal with are semis, and I don't mind dealing with semis, because I'm used to driving a big truck. I forgot that I'm now towing a 30-foot trailer, which is basically a giant box, and because I'm not used to this trailer, and it's raining, and it's dark, I'm not driving 70 miles an hour. I'm driving 60 miles an hour and the truckers are passing me and then you're getting that wind push as they go past and then the whole trailer comes like this. The first time it happened, I was like, oh, I forgot about that because like, I felt like I was losing control. And again, it's just it's something that hasn't happened to me in a long time. Now, I know how to deal with it, but it was just very stressful when you added everything onto the whole situation. So we were supposed to be home about 12 o'clock. I think we got home around 2 a.m. I remember putting my purse down, but I don't remember anything after that. Like, I, I, we white knuckled it until we got into the front door and I pretty much just passed on the bed from just my battery being completely exhausted. I have never been a white knuckle driver with trailers, but I was white knuckled that whole drive home. So we got home. We've got this gorgeous trailer, or camper, or RV, or rig, whatever we want to call it. Home on Eleanor. Wheels. That's what we're calling it, right? Yes, Her name Eleanor. is Eleanor. She's such a stately lady, and we're so excited to be able to share her with you and get away together. Yeah. So that's going to be today's video. Please do us a favor. Take a moment to subscribe to our channel, and also hit the little like button on this video. It really helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell button. That way, every single time Eleanor has a new video out, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.